Hello, it's Carl Pierce here. So this is the very first day of my vlog for the 24 hour race. I'm currently in my own home. It is Friday today, so uh, the race starts tomorrow. So I'm gonna take you on a journey all the way from today till Saturday for a whole race till Monday. There is a lot of footage that will be coming up, but I'm gonna tr try and record as much as I can. I've got some spare batteries, got some spare SD cards and stuff like that. Also got Connor, he's bringing his GoPro. He's got exactly the same one as me. So hopefully I can pinch some batteries off him. We can try and share some footage and stuff like that. So this morning I did read through the PDF file that we got sent of the rules uh, the timetable and all that kind of stuff. So I was just going through there trying to memorize them We're going to discuss as a team tonight uh, What strategy we're going to use and stuff like that. So the plan is I'm waiting for Connor to come around We're going to go up to Milton Kings uh, roughly aim for about three o'clock. We're going to check in our hotel and then later that evening we're going to go to Milton Kings Daytona. I've never been there before, never done a track neither. So it, this is all going to be new for me. Never done a 24 hour race neither. Um, it's quite bizarre that I decided to go and do this race, but no harm in trying it, right? So once we arrive there, we're going to sign in, check in and stuff like that. Make sure that everyone's up to speed, everyone's there. And then afterwards, we're probably going to go out for a meal. We're going to have a meal, talk about strategy, just have a chat among ourselves and stuff as well. And then go back to the hotel and have a good decent sleep. And then get ready to wake up nice and early, probably about 6 o'clock in the morning. We do need to arrive at the track about 7 half 7. And then that's when the whole day starts. We've got to do like safety briefing. We've got to do all these rules. We've got all this paperwork we probably need to fill out. So... But yeah, no, I'll take you on the journey and I'll show you around and uh, I hope you enjoy this. I'm lost in the city, still so far from home. I've searched for you all my life. Cast out like a shadow, racing towards the light. I pray to see you one more. Nice views, very nice. So we're finally here at Milton Kings, checked into Travel Lodge. This is where we're pretty much gonna be crashing uh, just for a couple hours and out. Well, we're gonna sleep here tonight, get enough rest for tomorrow. So this is a place that we're just gonna crash here for a couple hours throughout the race. We'll probably come here once or twice throughout the day and night as well. We're gonna stay here on Sunday evening sleep here and then we're going to travel home the next day after that so no it was a pretty easy journey actually because the there was a lot of traffic on the m1 especially on the m25 but there's always traffic on the m25 but it was rather easy it was it was pretty good so we, we got here it took about an hour hour and 20 hour and 25 usually takes about an hour and 10 hour 15 so it wasn't too bad actually we did meet up with chris at the pub uh, we also met another Connor and there's also another Chris it got super confusing for a sec but not, nice to meet you guys if you see this video um, I'm looking forward to having this whole weekend uh, racing with you, against you guys as well so it's gonna be great so the the plan is we're just gonna chill here charge up my phones and stuff like that just get a little bit comfortable familiarize ourselves around everything and then uh, we're gonna make our way to the track we're going to set up our gazebos. You're going to see a lot of footage of that. Uh, pretty much get everything all set up. I'm going to, um, I did bring a tent. I did bring a tent to camp over there. So just in case if 
let's say I want to sleep here. Uh, Connor can sleep over at the track and we can swap. Because we only have one car, um, he's allowed to drive my car. So I think it'd just be fair if he wants to go to sleep and I want to go to sleep, you know, we've got to play somewhere to sleep. So, um, so that's the plan. So right now, we're just going to chill. See you guys over at the track. See you in a bit. So I arrived to Daytona, Milton Kings, finally. I've set up my tent, it's that blue one right there. I've just dumped it and thought, screw it, that would do. So right now I'm trying to look for my friends, really, see where our plot is. So I'm gonna go and take a walk, check out the place. So where, where's our plot? So we're, that's Chris there, set up blue tent. Oh, uh, so we, we're the blue tent, we we're, we're gonna ride side of it. Yep. All right, cool. It's gonna be our little spot on the grass around. Awesome. Well, I literally just sat on my tent. It was like, I looked around and went, boom, drop. Everyone now is still Everyone's making like the, the <laughs> So, you like can see mine's like, my little like, setup. size though, compared to everyone else. I'm just fiddly little. Mine is just somewhere to crash. <laughs> All right, that's good to know. So, um, what we're going to do now, we're just going to bring some well, we stuff over. we need to wait for um, uh, Aaron and Nathan, because they've got the, uh, the easy up. Right. Ten. Um, it's kind of hard to move things across without. So, that. what do we need to do now? Do we need to sign in, or I don't did Ash? Did Ash? Is it Ashley? Ashley. Yeah. So yeah, Ashley did. Yeah. Well. <laughs> okay. He's got the mask on. Cool. There's there's the other Chris and Connor. So. The, uh, the double double gangers. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Let's move over here. Where are all so. your keys, brother? Oh, thank you. Actually, anything okay, I'll go. Uh, I'll grab a few stuff in a sec. There's, there's the rest of the guys. Back in. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Why are you fucking giving me all this? How are we doing? Because I'm going to be carrying everything else. Yeah. Sorry for all the confusion. I was like, where's my permit? Yeah. Like, the guys right. were like, oh, I think I gave him the whole envelope. <laughs> yeah, he did. He gave me the whole thing. He wasn't supposed to. <laughs> yeah. oh, well. All the staff are a bit confused about what's going on at the moment. Hopefully that will change when the race starts tomorrow. 100%. Um, right, yeah, whilst so... Whilst you're recording, can you take them? Yeah. <laughs> You've cut this bit out. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to cut this out. Cut. Yeah, no, me and Chris got here. Well, he was here a lot earlier than I was. Did you actually like to turn up at five? Bam, first thing yes. in. <laughs> we were here at like quarter two, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Ah. But they, um, they right. said they wouldn't... Right. Have... So we've, put, we've already put up our I gazebo. saw your blue tent. Yeah, so the gazebo's already up. It took about 15, 20 minutes, not a problem. That's right. The table's up. Cool. It's just bringing in the rest of the So time. really we need Bravo team. My team is to get our gazebo up So now. as soon as you get your gazebo, you can put it straight up and we can start looking at making the area a little bit more. Oh, mate, you picked a good spot. Yes. Oh, mate, I knew you guys were on it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so we're, we're it number, what is it, 15 you're here? You're here. So we're, we're here, this this little bit of land. Awesome. <laughs> we've got a good spot. It's just the board. Just board at the just moment. Board. So, yeah, I can breathe. Boofies. Right, where's the seating, sir? Where's that gone? It's there, mate. Tell you what, mate. Pick that up. I'll record you picking that up. What, the seat? The seat insert. Yeah, just pick it up. Been carrying. Yeah. Tell me the way. I'm going to break my back before we even start racing. It's, well, yeah, it but... it's sabotage. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's like 10 kilograms. 13. 13, I was close. <laughs> Christ. Why are you so goddamn heavy? Because so goddamn I'm light. so goddamn light. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Chris? Huh? What do you weigh? Uh, 67 I weighed in at. Jesus, you know, I, weigh, I weigh like I weigh an extra twice half here. of you on top of me. I weigh twice. It sounds here. a lot like a you problem. It does. It is. So, the man on Let's get some views out here. The moment it all comes Take a look. There it is, there it is. Back into putting our heads together. Oh, wow, check this out, no, dude. So, hopefully, once yeah. we get our casebo and that, um, should definitely get our set up and get our chairs over and other crap as well. So, interesting. We need a wheelbarrow for the stuff we brought. Uh, nah, it'd be alright. Most of it's actually key. A lot of it, a lot of it is just water and stuff like that, isn't it? That one sits so much better. That one sits so much better on your head. Did you get that today? Yeah. It is, but it's it's light. So, 
reason behind it is you wear the thick ones from Team Sport, you get probably 45 minutes in and you, can't you are drenched. You can't breathe. Yeah. It's like you've been in a bath. Yeah. So I purposely was looking for something thin. Well, the thing is, that I kind of don't want to wear it. Like, no, the race. I, I would recommend it though. Probably at night gets, time, maybe, but. When it gets to night racing, yeah. it's very much a case of that it's just yeah. horrible. Yeah. Your helmet's wet, mm. it's foggy. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough, mate. <laughs> It's good to know. Also, for the uh, benefit of um, yeah, give me you a can walk down, down that trail. Oh, for real? Yep, and we'll do a pit walk. Be, I'm gonna, well, I'm going to take a walk now. No. You're being videoed. <laughs> oh. Hey! Hey! Well, a load of horses. You finally it. turned up. <laughs> Four hours later. Four hours later. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What's up? Yo. You good? What is the story? I was going to lock it afterwards. Do you trust us? You're guessing which one? Batches. Has anyone checked to see if there's any spaces? I don't think there's spaces. Is that one in it? No, it's about middle one. Cool, alright. We've got a lot of carrying today. Okay. Alright, let me just leave it. Oh my god. That's. Oh yeah, the hinges are a little bit stiffy. Right, anything that you want us to bring in? Seats and gazebo. And the big Umbro bag. Big black back. Go. And the subwoofer. Done. The sub. <laughs> the woofy. <laughs> Yeah. 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 This is an absolute team bond. This is why we're here. We're, we're arguing already. There's disagreements. It's just team getting together. I'll see you boys later. I'm off to the gym. Yep, alright. See you later. You're going to kill yourself tomorrow, mate. Oh, I can't go yet. <laughs> what, you're going to do cardio or something? No. Cardio? You wanna... Cardio, bro. I don't know what cardio is. What is it? No, exactly. I'll look up the definition one day. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we just do half a door. Right. You can do it! I can't afford a mortgage here. Yeah. This is so good, man. Especially for myself, 
never been on here before? Just be consistent. Yeah. Uh, as, uh, what, what curbs to avoid? I know oh, no, they're being really tight on curbs. You want to avoid most of them. Well, I've been told um, definitely avoid that one. Yeah, avoid that one. You want to hit that one. Mm -hmm. You want to hit the outside of this one on the inside. Yeah. Be as tight as you can. Basically flatten that corner as much as you can. Okay. Because you want to destroy this. Yeah. The corner is not going to come around here, flatten that, and come out wide. And then you want to basically... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do that at the back one. And then the back one over there, I can't get that one right, so whatever I say is going to be wrong. There we go. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, and then that one there, you know what's going on. Be able to feel it. Oh, you just, you've got, yeah. Yeah, but you're, you know, you're, you're planning being like 110 and 111 tomorrow or something, roughly? Well, if you can match anything like that, it'll be a 107. 107, yeah. You had a um, late 107. That was, yeah. that was sweet. 107 Sorry. and a half. That's we'll awesome. Say, we'll, see what, we'll see what we can do. For sure. But, yeah, I mean, by all, by all accounts. Well, we were thinking, if Nathan doesn't want to practice tomorrow, we'll probably have more time to practice, which is going to be nice. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we'll see yeah, how it goes. Really. But, yeah, just, honestly, just, just be consistent. Yeah. Just, just be consistent. No, that's cool. Nervous, but it's going to be good. Ah, oh, the nerves kicked in now. So tomorrow morning you can do a track walk properly. Yeah, 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 yeah I've been done. Track. I've been told to get here for, what was it, half seven? Half seven, seven, half seven. Yeah. So Matt's coming to pick up some of our shit because don't forget we can only take two cars. So I'm going to leave mine at the hotel. Matt's going to take his. Um, I leave mine at the hotel. And then, because and then take Free's one. taking his as well. Free, are you still chauffeuring tomorrow morning? Cool. There you go. So uh, it's getting a little bit late now. A lot of people have gone um, to like a restaurant and stuff like that, and then go back to the hotel to sleep. We're just gonna chill here for a little bit and then, uh, then definitely get some sleep. So yeah, we're just gonna chill, relax. Uh, we're gonna give it until probably about half past eight, quarter to nine maybe, head back to the hotel and uh, get some proper sleep. Hopefully a good eight hour sleep. You want a good eight, solid as eight. Yeah, as much as we can get. We're gonna try and uh, plan and wake up for about six, half six. Maybe I have a shower, get here for, uh, what is it, seven, half seven? Half seven. Half seven is the, yeah. Latest. And then the plan tomorrow is uh, we're going to take a walk on the track. We're going to get some footage as well and discuss strategy. I think we've got a rough strat strategy already. A lot of it is what happens in practice. Yeah. A lot of it is what's going to happen in practice. So we decided Ashley's going to do a rolling start tomorrow. I'm planning of doing uh, a stint after him. So the only thing that I'm constantly thinking of is, is sleep. Sleep is going to be a huge thing for me. Uh, I'm not a sort of person that can just get my head down and that's it for sleep. It takes me a while to go to sleep. Yeah, we just got to wait and see really, and give it a go. So, anyways, see you guys in the morning. morning it's race day today so Connor and I we feel a little bit groggy today don't we it's, not been it's uh, sleep in the world, that it? was an amazing sleep and we just hear loads of banging in the background and now I wasn't feeling too well because uh, 
had a lot of nerves but uh i feel like i slept enough anyways so we woke up at 10 to 7 it's now roughly about 10 past quarter past and uh yeah, we're just gonna make our way down to the track, see everyone, have a quick chat, probably have some breakfast, get a bit of grub, and then go from there. See you down on the track. Um, yeah, sorry about that, I dropped all my biscuits. Biscuits? I would, yeah, man. I would have let you guys park there, but. Oh, I'm on my own. I took two. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping his kind skills are better than his parking skills. <laughs> you missed the apex, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to decide what one he wanted. You guys sleep all right last night? Uh, Crash inside the gazebo. Oh, is he? Oh. oh. Sorry, fucked up over there. I'll carry the reason for it. <laughs> yeah. It's not a lady. <laughs> 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 no, 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 it's alright, mate. No, you don't So, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm Carl. We're talking strat. Talking strat. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Recording. Oh, to, to, to overhear our plans. <laughs> no. What are you saying? Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Good morning. So today's race day. We're, we're feeling confident today. We're literally, everyone, everyone's turned up, which is great. We're gonna get some breakfast shortly. And we're, yeah, we're all feeling pretty good. Some of us had good sleep, some of us didn't. But I have a tent set up uh, very nearby. So if we need to go and crash, we can crash for a couple of hours, I probably will during the day, depending how tired I will be. So, we're gonna talk about weather in the next 24 hours. It's gonna be cloudy, 8% of rain, but I think the rain is probably gonna happen around now, probably. It did start to spit earlier, but most of the time it's gonna be dry, um, cloudy, sunny, so it's all pretty good. So right now I'm just taking a walk down on the side of the track. There is someone out there at the moment and that's where all the tents are i can see my team over there as well but it's looking really really good i'm, I'm excited you can watch this cart coming up now We got briefing very shortly. Uh, when I say shortly, it's probably gonna be in about an X hour or so. So we're definitely gonna grab some breakfast, do the brief, and then we got some practice after that as well. What the team is doing, they're literally just setting up some microphones, uh, the headsets, getting them all working, get them all tested, so before we go out on practice and that we can give them a try test them and all that kind of stuff there is a lot of people here now about a quarter to a half of people turned up yesterday uh, same as we did and now everyone else is turning up today but yeah no it's going to be really good uh, all right so we just had a brief uh, over at the pits 
So right now we're just getting Ashley to go out in the first practice, which is roughly about five minutes. I'm currently after Ashley, so I'm all ready. I'm ready to go. Just need to put uh, gloves and helmet on and make my way over to the pits. But no, definitely looking forward to practice, get a rough time of uh, what our track times are going to be. And then we'll definitely speak to strategy afterwards as well. Make sure everyone knows where they're at. You all ready? You all good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic, have a good practice, drive safe. That's the plan. Looks like everyone's going in their carts now. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll follow you over. You see your hobby up. Oh, uh, he's driving first. Or jumping now. When it gets to, I don't know, one. Yeah, so just to clarify a couple of points uh, just from the briefing uh, that I gave everyone um, the visors, the uh, tinted visors, yes, of course you can wear those during the day, uh, but when it gets to dust. Uh, Alright, Ashley, good to go, yeah? Dust, it's, uh, I'll be know, ready. Uh, doing my first practice at Daytona Milton Kings. So what was going through my mind, I'll tell you. So, didn't know exactly what the track layout was. Didn't know the racing line, didn't know how everyone was acting on the track. So I thought the next few laps, I say a few laps, about three, four laps, just take it easy, see how everyone is driving, just being etched to cautious. Right now, we're not racing. We're not racing at all. This is just practice. I was thinking of trying to get a fast time as well through this session, but I just want to save my energy, just keep it nice and easy. I don't want to do plenty of mistakes and either hurt myself or hurt someone else. So right now, uh, just coming up on the main straight, going uphill, just seeing how everyone is overtaking each other, see how the cart performs, just get familiar uh, with the track layout as well see how this left hander works I didn't know whether I need to speed up where I need a break how this hairpin takes in as well honestly just chilling give it a go relax see how things are so moving on to this next clip I felt a little bit more confident I was wondering whether I can actually go over this curb on that left turns out you can this is another part of learning process, how people are taken around this track. I've been told to be careful of track limits, be careful of the curbs, the marshals are quite strict. I didn't know which bit I was allowed to go over, what bit I wasn't allowed to go over. It was all part of the learning process. Coming down this hill, it's like a little S section right here, but when you uh, get to this final corner down here before the main straight, there's like a little bump. It's like it's like going over a drain. If you really mess that up, you can lose a lot of time. 
just coming up on the end of the main straight doing a left hander I had to be a little bit cautious this guy did push it a little bit too much and braked quite late braked very hard just missed the contact just right there uh, slightly scary moment for myself it's crazy how these people are training themselves to push to that absolute limit so coming up here I can see the driver in front is a little bit slow and stuff on these corners so I'll just take it easy again I keep saying this throughout practice it's just relaxed taking it easy still learning uh, I will learn as much as I can throughout the race anyways so keep an eye on this guy I'm gonna take him up on the the right side here as the soda carts have a quite a slow acceleration on straights but when it comes to the corners and that they'll look faster than me so watching this guy in front I can notice there was Luke on my right I thought I'd let him go follow him down this hill coming to this corner of just before the main straight it's all looking good so far every time I go up this hill I seem to be a little bit slower compared to the rest of the D-Maxes I think that's all due to my weight getting up that hill every time I go up it I always just check to my left always check on my left always make sure that someone's going past and that especially if there's a Sodi cart in front of me make sure I check my left and then just go for the overtake and then move back into the racing line so a very short clip right here I can see ahead uh, someone's pushed it a little bit too hard and totally misjudged it he did spin out uh, everything was all okay after that and then I noticed that the team's just given out the pit information on the board uh, they asked me to pit so I followed through the pits and get Connor out onto the track so that was my first practice it was okay uh, when I had I had a little bit of nerves a little bit of nerves but I think once I got myself out there and did a few laps I was alright afterwards so just got my wristband there to say that I've completed practice so I'm allowed to take part in the actual race later on the day right now just gonna go and get myself weighed I know I'm overweight so just waiting for I get a thumbs up with this guy he seems very happy today <laughs> bless him We're just done practice now. Um, a lot to learn, definitely a lot to learn. I was getting 118, 116. Everyone's getting on an average around 18, but they've been here so many times. I think for a first timer, I managed to get down to 1 minute 13, which is okay. Um, hopefully, I can improve a little bit better. So, right now, Connor's out on the track. Um, actually, he's already been out, he's right there, he's already been out. So, Aaron will be next but yeah no good day so far it's uh I feel pretty confident um I did overtake a few sodies god they are slow <laughs> it really really does show how quick the d-maxes are so anyways right I'm gonna save uh, a bit of footage and that for the race later so enjoy Mate, time you get out there, you'll love it. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's exactly the same. As long as I fall off. <laughs> Again. Let's go. Where can we stop anyway? Right at the end. Right at the end. You see some of the drivers looking and always chatting to each other as they go around the course. This is where the, uh, the friendliness of them, the competitiveness is there, but they're all, they all know each other. They Three, nice. Build these friendships, which is something that's important part of it. The code of conduct you know, these drivers have. Yeah, they respect You're going to do it just fine. Yes, win, yes, but we like to operate a fair Honestly, system. like we the like first three sure laps, I'm just taking it easy. Course, See how everyone reacts, and yeah, it was all right after that. Build friendships that can last a lifetime. Share what you say. Talked about. You know, to, in fact, before the start of the rest of the week, and uh, time's gone on the board. 
47 drivers. We want to make sure that by the end of the race, they're uh, improving as the race goes on. Uh, they may be in the past or in the end of the they already uh, six lanes left. Currently qualifying. Uh, practice already finished. We're now qualifying and we're just keeping an eye on the times. Uh, there's 26 teams on the D Max and we're currently 24th. So it's looking okay. We improve a place. So hopefully Ashley can do a little bit more and give it a go. So here he comes. Coming around. So it's all looking good. We'll go from there. Keep you posted. Should we we'll meet him? We're going to meet him. Where is he? He'll come up over here. So Alpha team has just got P3, so we're just going to go over there and congratulate him. Except my talking, I'm still talking. Well done, lads. Yeah, well well done. done. Just three tenths tenths wow. We have wow. three tenths off and ready. And we're on full tank of fuel. That's just insane. insane. Hey, it's it's all all the the Everybody here. It's about three quarters yeah. of tank. Pit lane. It's a great, a great day oh, here at you. Milton Keynes. Is yes! <laughs> <laughs> Well done, man. Fucking awesome. Thank you, Matthew. We're getting ready, as we say, for Dude, the next phase of the Awesome, awesome work. Uh, 35 class. Uh, I'm just received crazy. notification of a bit of drama <laughs> after the checkered flag. Awesome, man. I was milking the hell out of that, then I hit traffic. That last, um, that on that last corner, did you see me slide? One, two, two. If I had kept my foot in, I eased off, and that's what slipped the back end. Uh, but uh, we're that on the weight, so they will start from the back of the grid. Uh, and all that effort in that 10 minute call. P2! For your P2! Oh, P2! Yeah. P2. P2. Yeah. P2. Yeah. P2! You have anything late. You have anything late. Fuck you, mate! Fuck fucking all, mate! Fuck you, mate! Also, one of them has got disqualification because uh, it was underweight, so that pushed him up to P2. Congratulations to the other team, that's awesome. That's the combination of the cars itself and the driver. My premier scenario is on my... Yes. Well done, bud. Oh, mate. <laughs> so what happened? I qualified P3. Uh, they got disqualified on the way. 
pole position with the stars, I mean, on the way. No way! Yeah, on the way, yeah. Yeah, she just all the way from the back. It's still surreal, to be honest. Is that even surreal? Do you want to spin it? Okay, you know, I'm standing with Chris Palmer from my premiere. Oh, Laurie Seven. Laurie Seven Alpha. I'm getting all these. Put you in pole position there. I'm shocked at that. You are in second, you've got the second fastest time in the game. Fantastic, great job. Any particular secrets, anything that, uh, that you did? Um, just not good for tyres. Um, it was quite tricky to be honest. A um, lot of traffic, but you know, trying to find the uh, times overall, trying to find out where we can improve. Yeah, we had a lot to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm getting that a lot though, really. It's like it's like it's like it's like it's the the yeah, 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 and then push on the next one and then push the in work. That's good. I mean, as I said, you don't want to give too much away. People have been very cagey this morning. I'm like I said, trying to get little bits of information uh, out of everybody. But if, the one thing I've noticed is the competitive nature of everybody. But everyone's fine. The weather's beautiful. Will that will that affect the times for you? Um, okay. I hope not. <laughs> Keep it pure and simple. Um, I do hope. Not. I mean, it's one of those really. You know, run it wide and we'll try to preserve the tyres long term. I mean, there's going to be a lot of people running long stints. There's going to be a lot of people running short stints. So it boils down really to the. Um, one final question, will you be wearing the Ray-Bans until it gets done? <laughs> Hopefully. That's what they say. I'm just good, I just look good doing it. Thank you very much. Bless you, wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Yeah. So right now we're just going to take Ashley over to the pits. He's going to get ready, get into his car, and then start doing the rolling start now. I can hear him on the uh, headset. He's got his headset on as well. There he is. Yeah, I can hear you. So, make our way over. <laughs> right in front of the air with you. The D Max is lined up in the M35s. Just filming you behind you. The driver's nice little tips when they pick up. Back in the box, I see. Just trying to tackle the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I'll let you know when he's going. So is the in about 10 five minutes so pretty nervous it's gonna be my first stint 
Ashley's doing great. We're currently P20 from P24, but yeah, we'll see what, how it turns out throughout the night. The thing is, you don't know what place you're in until you're the last stint, so it's literally like the last hour. That's when you know where you're going to be. So I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to try and save my energy throughout the night and stuff, so see what happens. And then uh, after my stint, I'm going to speak to Chris, get a little interview about your quality, and uh, yeah, no, it's going to be really good. So. See you guys then. Yeah, just uh, witness uh, a no bumping for Metal Wash for this floor. Car number 106. Car no bumping uh, warning there, just one bump down here. Right by trackside. Not so that I'm right on any. Acknowledge it. It's more than here. I'm all gone. Again, down here, I can see the cars flying around. Two miles of people flying past me. God, here we are. So, started racing. This is my very first stint. I was itching to go out. I was really excited. I was nervous and excited at the same time. It's a, uh, yeah, oh, it's a good feeling. So, right now, taking it easy. Everyone's in that race mindset now, and everyone was acting completely different on track. So, I noticed when I came out into the pits, there were some free quick drivers and that. So, I thought I'd just let them go. I've been strictly told from my team lead that to not race anyone, just be consistent, relax, and just get through it, just get your time done, because no one knows what, what place you're going to be in until the last hour of the race. So you just got to do your bit, get your head down, and just race. So not a lot has happened during my stint. I have created some highlights. You're not going to watch the full one hour and 15, one hour 30. Uh, what I've done, I just find some highlights throughout that session. And uh, I thought I'd go show you guys. So bear in mind, I am using the comms, like the radio. I am talking to my teammates. Uh, getting some information from them uh, just keeping me steady they're also spot checking for me as well there was a big group here there was a lot of uh, sodies there was some dmax trying to fight through on my left he noticed he had nowhere to go so i thought i kept right try and push through try and get overtake these guys this guy in front wasn't really happy what was going on come around this corner looking to my left i've noticed there was some drivers on my left I thought I'd push it a little bit. This guy kept blocking this turning right here. I was like, right now, I need to calm down. There is still a big group behind me. Look to my left. I thought, right, it's all clear. Let's give it a move right here up this hill. Go back into the racing line. Didn't know how this person in front is going to react. So I thought I'd just stay behind this Sodi car right here. Coming around to the final corner. Always looking at the pit board as well of my teammates showing that. I tried to make a move on this guy later on, didn't quite work. Thought I'd give it a go again, but for some reason, uh, this happened and the person crashed into me behind me. I thought they were still behind me, believe it or not, but then the time I got to this corner, I quickly looked to my right. Uh, turns out the guy actually spun out, uh, got stuck in that corner back there. So I felt pretty bad. Sorry for that person. Um, but yeah, that, that Sodi car right in front of me was was quite difficult. Managed to save myself from this bit. I went absolutely wide. For some reason, I don't know why I pushed it a bit too hard there. I totally misjudged it. But managed to do a save right there. So that woke me up quite well. And there was some battling in front, uh, especially with that Sodi car. Even that D-Max guy in front of me is trying to get past him. I thought, oh, I wonder how he's going to overtake this person. Uh, he just did it on turn one, which was quite clean actually, it was pretty good. I was like, oh, okay, I might learn something right there. So, 
Still staying behind on this, look to my left there was another Sodi cart. I noticed it was very quick on these corners. Before I let this guy go, there's no way I'm racing this guy. Should I give it a go? Ah, uh, I thought I did. Nah, best not, best not. We'll keep it safe. No point racing these lot. I'm probably a lap ahead of them, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Well, we can easily catch up. That's not a problem. So, right now, just feathering. Just keeping an eye on these guys. Didn't want to cause any more trouble. I went absolutely wide. Got forced off a little bit. Uh, that was a mistake on my hand. Thought I'd overtake this guy again, see what happens. Didn't like how he forced me a wide little bit. But then, notice on my right, he went for the move. Got the job done. Good on him. I bet he felt good overtaking a D-Max. But little as he know, I'm <laughs> probably the slowest driver out there. <laughs> so, on this bit, come around this corner right here, just following these guys. See how these guys perform around these corners. Always look at my left. Ah, hello Chris, how's it going? It's good to see you. That's the thing, every time I see my uh, teammates now out on the track, I always let them go. Alpha team are doing fantastic, they're proper racing uh, on this weekend. Always checking on my left, there was no way I was going to get the move done here, so I thought just relax, chill out, just follow it around. Getting a, keep it all clean. So I've noticed that this guy was uh, going a little bit slower than me. I have been following this guy for about a lap or two. I was talking to uh, my teammates on the comms. They said, no, these guys are performing this lap and blah, blah, blah. I knew straight away I need to try and make a move here. So I follow him up on this straight. Coming around to this left-hander, I've noticed he went absolutely wide here. So I thought I'd take it on this. I was pretty proud of this. You can just hear me uh, <laughs> screaming down the mic saying yes. So I was pretty proud of that. So I've been told from my uh, teammates to start pitting now. I've noticed there was uh, a lot of traffic right here, a lot of sodies. I thought I'd try and overtake these guys and just go straight for the pits. But little as I knew, these guys were trying to make a move on me. So this guy who's just came in, he forced me wide. I knew straight away I need to go in the pits. There was just a lot of traffic. I thought I'd hang back, let them go. And that's it, straight into the pits. So that was my first stint. That was uh, a bit crazy on my last lap. Uh, getting forced wide right there. So standard usual, get myself weighed, get the night's nice driver out as soon as possible. We'll be starting on my second stint soon. Uh, I've got to admit, I am quite tired. Definitely tired from the first one. But looking forward to the second one. The plan is, once I've done my stint, I'm going to go back to the hotel and get a few hours kit. And, uh, mate, this place is looking amazing. When the sun's just coming down, uh, it's going to get a little bit colder now. So, looking forward to it. Nathan has been doing fantastic. We've got 17 hours left of the 24 hour race. So we're doing good so far. It's been a good afternoon. Uh, now we're coming into the evening. So. What's going to tell you today? And they've been consistently on 1 0. You right there, bud? Yeah, yeah. Almost since the initial 
race started this morning. Oh, it's, it's red. Red this flag. This afternoon. Beautifully done. Well, we've got a red flag out on the track. And uh, as you can see, all the drivers go to the, all the drivers come to a stop. There's a red flag or a way to catch up losing for that. But, uh, He's also down the back of the track, which I, I can't see all the drivers because naturally drivers are not supposed to come into the pits when there is a red flag. The drivers are told to put their foot on the brake, which they are doing so now. So you want to get back there? No, that's right. I'll try to find out. Yeah, go for it if you want. Try and shout out. Keep your patience of what's going on. Shit. Oh, is someone hurt? Yeah. What's happened? I'm not sure. I'm trying to get an update. Uh, silence goes across the course as the marshal someone's hurt to make sure everybody's okay so i don't know how long we're going to be sitting here for yeah, again this is what these guys are trained to do fire marshals themselves we run down to make sure that everybody's okay red flag is waved for everybody's safety really important if it's going to be for long enough they'll probably bring us in i can't hear you signal from what you again Disappointment walk. That's the walk of shame. So, Chris, tell me exactly what happened uh, on your last your last session with Luke Branch. What's going on? Um, so, yeah, we we ran out of fuel. Ran out of fuel. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, we were playing the long game. So know, tell me exactly so, what your strategy was for that stint. So we didn't account for the red flag. Didn't um, count the red flag, yeah. So what happened was, as you know, we were playing the long game. We were probably mm -hmm. aiming for about 155. What you've got to remember is during sort of dusk, the air gets a bit more dense, you burn more fuel. So right. um, what happened was, essentially, we just misjudged it. We misjudged it by 400 meters. 400 so meters. I've actually found out where it was he ran out of fuel, and it was yeah. slap so just bang before in the, the middle, slap bang in the middle of the, of the straight. Of the straight, yeah. So, so we were about 400 meters away from actually being the same. So is that when he was originally going to pit? Yeah, so he was. He was oh, on man. his inlap. He was on his inlap, and unfortunately these things happen. So um, as as I said to the boys, there's there's 15 hours left. As I said to Luke, look, don't get disheartened. We're still going to play the long game. He, he was still, quite upset. Yeah, he? he was upset. But you know, when someone tells you you're running P1, yeah. Whether or not we've had our maintenance stop or not, P1 is an ego boost. Yeah. You're going to think, let's go for this. Yeah. So, yeah, unfortunately, as I say, these things happen. There's 15 hours left. Um, but luckily, it's at the beginning of the night then, like beginning yeah. of the race. The night, so, the night time learn, is, hopefully, other people might do the mistake yeah, as well. Exactly. So. The night time is a lot faster. It's a lot more careless. You'll find a lot more cars will break down during the night. Right, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll run into a lot more trouble. Um, but yeah, as I say, we chucked it on the front row of the grid. We knew the risks of going long, mm. and unfortunately they didn't pay off. Um, 
but as I say, there is 15 odd hours left. We're 13 laps behind the leader. Um, with the carts in front of us needing maintenance as well, yeah. that should chuck us back up into the top seven. Top seven, yeah. Um, and then over the night, um, myself, Luca, uh, Rich, we've got a bit of a job to do. Yeah. We're still going to play the long game. Uh, of course. We're still going to, we're still, we know, we know, know where the limit is. All we're going to yeah. do is drop that by five minutes. So basically the safe mark now is, what, an hour and 45 or something? So an we're hour. pushing for an hour and 55, which I managed. Okay, cool. Uh, manage and still came in overweight right um, so we're just going to dump it down by 10 minutes 10 minutes yeah. uh, 10 minutes plays it safe if well I'll be wearing the com suit so what I'm gonna do is I'll be feeding back to the pit team and yeah. say look I've got enough fuel to do another couple of laps I've got another this I've got another that um, and then we'll just go from there awesome but yeah, as, as yeah, I say, well, you can't be too disheartened. It's part of the race, isn't it? Yeah, you can't be disheartened at all. For yeah, yeah, five yeah. minutes, we were running P1. Yeah. 47 carts, and we were at the front. Yeah. So no, your team is doing incredibly well. So we've been definitely been watching and uh, giving an eye on your time and stuff. So it's all been sick. It's been really, really good. Hopefully, you guys still make it on the podium tomorrow. Uh, That'd be nice, podium's wouldn't it? going to be a long That's, shot. It, but it's a long said, shot, but... As I said to uh, Luke, Come on. As I said to Luke, we came here expecting a top 10. Yeah. We managed to get on the front row. Yeah. yeah. We've worked this out before. We've, we've come from 20 seconds back up to 9 over the yeah. night. Anything's possible. And unfortunately, I can't read the future. So no, no one can. Could. Hindsight's a beautiful thing. If we wanted to, we would have uh, we would have hit him a lap before. But, you well, know, other than that, with the fuel run out, how's the car performing so far? With that maintenance, that, was there any issues? No, so with the maintenance stop, we uh, we actually played it quite luck, got, got quite lucky. So not mm. only did we get a full tank of fuel the lap before, right. we've also had a driver change during the maintenance stop. So we right. have rolled everything into one. So, so really, you only lost about like two laps, three laps, is it? We lost two laps under the red flag. Yeah. And we probably lost about two minutes under the maintenance stuff. Right, yeah, because yeah. Because we didn't have to fuel, we didn't have to check, drive a change. We got everything done within three minutes of the fight. So, realistically, did we lose that much time? No. No, not really. But, again, it's still going to be an uphill struggle, yeah. but we've got to see what we can do, to be honest. Well, we soon find out until uh, in the morning, aren't we? Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah absolutely. definitely. Well, no, it's been a really awesome uh, first day of 24 hours, isn't it? It's absolutely. been really good. It's, um, it's been my second stint will be <laughs> starting very shortly as well. Look at my hands. I don't know but, how they're going to turn out. Oh, I've, <laughs> yeah, I've got blisters as well, so it's all part, no, it's all, fun, it's all part, part of it, isn't it? Yeah. Thank awesome. You. All right, thank, thank you. you. Good morning, finally going through, we went through the night shifts and uh, I don't know whether you can see my breath but it is really really cold. It's roughly about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning right now. Um, I went back to the hotel after my second stint. I think I stayed out roughly about an hour 15, hour and a half. Um, I'm about to go out next after roughly about 15-20 minutes to go. Uh, that'd be my third stint. Everyone else is just relaxing. Everyone's trying to sleep, trying to get through. So, yeah, here's the track at four, five o'clock in the morning. When I went on my third stint uh, this morning, uh, it was very misty and uh, the visors were constantly steaming up and it was getting wet and uh, it was very, very hard to see. Um, so I did the half an hour stint and I was like, guys, this is a problem. I cannot see it at all. Um, so got my friend Connor out of there, but unfortunately for Connor, um, bad things happened at a short period of time. You are only out there for like five, ten minutes and uh, give or take. But then, yep, yeah, came back in and I went back out for an hour. Just dealt with the with the mist and the it, the track got incredibly wet. It was like driving in the rain. It was it was insane. Uh, it was a full course yellow at the end where everyone was just sliding, crashing into the barriers and that. Uh, luckily, I took it safe. 
um, I went wide around corners and stuff like that. I just took a completely different line and it was all okay after that. So we don't have long left for the 24 hour race. I'm a bit gutted that I didn't get any nighttime footage. That would have been cool, but when it comes to the night sits and stuff, everyone's just tired, everyone's pretty just mellow and it's it's absolutely tiring. Very, very tiring. And uh, it's just you and the cart, man. It's you versus the machine. And it's, you just got to work as a team and just do your part, really. So I'm going to get some footage of everyone out on the track right now. I'm just gonna go and wander around and uh, trying to see where everyone else is at and trying to get their thoughts and explore. Let's give it a go, let's take a walk. Yeah, I wanna show you guys this, so right here, that's a weigh-in station right there. So when you come through the pits, uh, you have to take it about two miles per hour and you have to go on these ramps. Uh, they're called Waybridge. Uh, you have to sit there and get weighed before entering into the pits itself. So if you are underweight, you can get penalised for it. So, but our team has got nothing to really worry about to the fact that uh, a lot of us are overweight. So we're all looking good. So when you come through here, this is the pit area. I'm going to take a walk now. There's Luke. Absolutely, stream racing has been surviving away so far. How are you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling raw. Feeling, feeling all right. Extent. You ready for the next one, yeah? When when you're going on? What, in about an hour's time? or? Yeah, just over an hour. Um, Lucas, out right now, our car is probably doing a maintenance stall. Oh, it's on the last maintenance now? Yeah. Is that the last one? So after that, we're just going to push it and see where we come up. Awesome, yeah, I think, man. I think P10 is the best we can get. Hundred percent. If you can get in the top ten and stuff, especially recovering yeah. from that fuel situation, that's uh, that'd I mean, be a good. Even before the race started, because it was 26 D Max cars. Yeah. Uh, we just thought top ten is a really a dig, is really yeah. good result for us. So I know we I know we qualify in the high position anyway. We were, we were P1 at one point, but mm. you just got you just got you just got to have a look at it and. Just say, you know what, we kind of, we probably overachieved a bit. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. So, we're still, we're still chasing P10, hoping that we meet the objective that we set before we even start the race, so. 100%, yeah. no, that's awesome. Are you, are you okay from the, or what, the situation where you feel? Are you, are you still quite upset yeah. about it, or? Not, not anymore, I mean, the timing of it um, could have happened, I mean, obviously, we never want to run out of fuel, but we would do for maintenance stock anyway. Yeah. So we never lost that much time. Uh, the biggest issue for us was the battery, I think, for the starter motor. And that lost us a lot of laps. And yeah. Oh well. I mean, you just gotta take what you get. Of really. course. No, that's no, awesome, man. I'll let you get back to your team now. Uh, thank you. Cheers. Stop now, you are splashing dash now. So that was uh, Luke, Luke Branch, uh, he's in the Scenario 7 Alpha team. They are doing fantastic in this session, so, so this is the rest of the pit, so there's, uh, I call it the naughty stop, 
in the in that white area right there. So if you get called as a like, as a black a flag, you deal with your penalty right there. The, uh, so on the right there, right in front of me, right now, where that red gate through. is, that uh, is where you go for your maintenance so. Um, Left. And then on the far the right there, the uh, you can get refuel. Made, uh, such a wonderful day. So when you come through, just like this person's coming in now, we get a really good example. So you go onto the way bridge, get weighed, get a thumbs up. You've got to come through about two miles per hour. You've got to take it real slow. You've got to be super, super slow. Come through. This is where you do your driver swap. And then right now he's going to go and get some fuel. So you take it to the right and go into the fuel bay. So you've got to take it real slow in the pits area. If you speed, you can get a penalty for it. Back in the race. So once you go over to the fuel, the fuel stop, you have to go out of your car, point. you have to go out on the exit on the right there where yeah, he is, so and he will walk yeah, all the way around to the end the while they the fuel up the kind of the car. There seems to be still that same buzz, that same enthusiasm. So at the end there, you can see the driver, you stand there and get ready. You've got to be prepared. These guys have been up all day and all night. These guys have been fantastic. The marshals have been great here. So that's it. Comes out. You get your driver. Jump in the car. They double check your visor and that to make sure that that fuel top is on properly. And that's it. You slowly make your way out. There's another marshal here. He will go and check the strap underneath your helmet. And that's it. Drive out on the track. That's the process. So if anyone didn't know how to uh, do a pit stop and stuff, uh, you just seen it. So no, it was pretty, pretty cool. Join every moment of it. Uh, so last night I had a, had a couple of hours sleeping out, but. Once, once you get uh, on the track and stuff, especially yes, it's really cold right now, done in that battle it's, uh, you'll wake uh, up, you definitely wake up. I'm going to feel very tired afterwards start, once the race is finished. So, show you guys around a little bit more. You've got to be careful crossing here, make sure no drivers are coming. Lady Charles, everyone there, keeping the spirits up, all very enthusiastic, which is good to see. I mean, obviously, last year on the drive, the engineering team and the marshals are lively. The change well, it's a super cold morning when it, when it happens. That kind so, right of, here, this is uh, a bit of a lift. I think if, I call uh, it the hub. have that kind of continuous This is where you get your uh, tea, coffee, food. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, the food's pretty good actually. The, the pricing on it is reasonable, so especially with your portions and that, it's reasonable. So it's quite nice. So this is the this is the building. I would definitely take you guys inside, but I'm not sure whether I've got my mask on me actually. Oh, I do have it. So right now I'll show you guys in the building. So over there is the bar, it's where you get your drinks and stuff. Those are the trophies. Get a champagne and that at the end of the race, whoever gets into the top three. These are the time boards. Which is pretty cool. That's the track layout. So right now we're literally doing the full international circuit. Which is pretty cool. Obviously there's a upstairs there's seating areas, there's, you know you can have your food and that as well. Uh, there's a F1 light car here, which is pretty cool. And we go back outside. This is where they serve breakfast. You get, once you purchase it at the bar, 
Yeah, you get a receipt and you just show it to one of the gentlemen here and they serve it to you. And this little bit of grass over here. This is where you get your tents up for those people who don't have a hotel. But in my opinion, I've booked a hotel and also I bought a tent over here as well. There's, there's situations where you have enough time to go back to the hotel, have a shower and then get a couple of hours sleep, which is exactly what I did last night. Um, but I think through throughout the day, it was a very hot day yesterday. Um, I did put my head down for about an hour or two. Uh, I don't really sleep at all. I just like rested. And um, I think it's just good for emergencies, just somewhere to crash. And also, for the rest of the team, they, they've been sleeping in there as well. So most of the time, they people sleep in their cars and stuff like that. But sometimes you want to have a bit of privacy and proper lay down flat and hopefully get some sleep in. But obviously, when once you have a tent out here in the, during the night, it gets extremely cold. It's right. It's quite cold right now. My hands are freezing. Um, so right now I'm at the top of this little hill here. And you get to see the whole circuit, so I'm going to show that to you guys right now. You can just see it. You got the whole circuit right there. Everyone's got their own little pit stops and that. So on the left-hand side over there, you can actually walk all the way up there at the back of the track and you can spectate tell you this though it's quite funny like talking to a camera and, that and filming and that and everyone gives you weird looks it's quite funny it is quite funny they're like oh what's that guy doing with a camera <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been a really, really good race so far. And like I said, we don't really have long now. I've got to do one more stint today. And that's it. It's all finished for me. And then uh, I'm not quite sure who's going to finish the race. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be Ashley. He's currently asleep right now in, uh, by the track anyways. Um, he's probably going to get an hour's in or something. Uh, cars still flying down. Five but yeah, show you around a little bit more. As you look down the course, as they hair away down the, the hairpin down to the bottom of the course, it is a still a very, very spectacular sight to see. And the, the times again, the consistent times of modernising racing, the uh, wonderful effort they've been putting in to keep in with Six Hours Racing and my Premiership team. Looking at uh, how this race may well develop over the next. How are you doing Luke? You're itching to go back out aren't you? I think so, yeah. <laughs> you just want to get over and done with don't you? Yeah. Uh, I'm the same. Do you have any more stints? I've got one more stint. Yeah. So how do you find this all No, it's uh, okay. It's alright. It's uh, Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm probably the slowest out there. But everyone seems to be quite respectful and polite. You know, I just let them go by. Because I know they're faster than me. They, don't get me wrong, there's, like, there's a few sodies that are much quicker than me. But when it comes to the straights, I can easily overtake them. But sometimes I hang back and just let them go because I know they're going to overtake me again. So, it's, uh, I'm not there to race them. And that's what you've got to keep saying to yourself is, especially as a rookie team, the B Bravo team, uh, we're not racing anyone. We're just, it's all about strategy and consistent, really. Yeah. Um, and it's just nice to do an actual race. I've never done a race in, a, in Daytona before. Yeah. So, and it's nice to actually experience an endurance race, a really long endurance race. Yeah. It's, a, it's an absolute achievement, isn't it? Yeah. It's a proper achievement. Yeah, just finishing the race. Uh, yeah, it's like just finishing. Yeah, yeah. I just can't wait until we say, yeah, we did it, man. We did it. 
did it together. And that's the thing as well, especially for people like myself who are new, never done this before. Like, it's actually quite crucial that you need to know how to pick Oh well, yeah, 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 much. exactly. Because it can it, affect a lot of things. Yeah, it's, that's probably, it's probably the biggest part. Or? It is the biggest part, yeah. yeah. The, the pit is very important. Yeah. If you don't do it right, if you speed, you get penalized or like um, touching the fuel cap. Like you can do plenty of mistakes or being underweight or something. You, yeah, it's just, anything can happen. Yeah, it's a mistake. It's all part of the strategy and like, if you do those nicely, no penalties, and you do the pistols quickly, you yeah. yourself a chance. Yeah. Like, my, my team, the Alpha team, we're not, on, as a whole, we're not the fastest, but that's why we decided to use an alternate strategy to compare to others. Right. And we, end, and we ended up fighting, fighting so yes, because the problems began. Yeah. Wouldn't so, like this, uh, could go right you know, the it's wire not, here. It's not always the fastest so fighters. Uh, very, it's a combination very, uh, of a lot of things. Yeah. Situation, yeah. Like you have, it's, even the smallest details. details. And, and the craziest uh, thing is, it's, it's the rest of the team. They're probably doing really mistakes yeah. that we don't know about. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I've noticed a few oh, people in the D-Maxes, they're getting black flags and stuff, which yeah. puts really, us up. And this, race, this is the so thing, this is really important the, uh, for endurance race. You must not do mistakes. You yeah, must yeah, not do it. Because they can really defeat you at the end. Uh, that wasn't a bit, but like, I mean, mistakes like track limits and getting black flags and that, because it's, it can really mess up your strategy. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Um, luckily, we haven't had one. Yeah. I think I got a warning for track limits, but... Uh, I've got three warnings for track limits. Oh, uh, you got three warnings? It's, it's, it's all in the same corner. Right. It's that like last corner before the street. Yeah, I've done the same. Yeah. I've gone way over it. And uh, I got double track limits for that, but that's easy, easy and done because you could turn in early and that's it. You're over it. You can't correct it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you kind of just have to take it and be like, yeah, cool. Right, I try not to do that again. Try and make it perfect this time. You kind of want to aim the the curb in the middle of your car. And then you're yeah, safe. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's, it's like a port hole. There's a, there's a like, yeah, yeah it's, it's like a lump like port hole yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. So if your you wheel, good yeah. if your wheel goes over the curb, yeah, hit the port hole. Yeah. So you need to aim the center of the car hard, over the pole to yes. get a good exit. And uh, I messed it up quite a few times, for sure. And I, I've noticed when I um, I seen Chris, he messed it up a couple of times. Even if you're turning quite sharp in that and you go over it, you can lose a lot of time. So, so right now, we've only got roughly just over two hours to go. Uh, I'm literally just walking along on the side of the track now, trying to get some good views. But man, it's a beautiful morning. Sun's out. Uh, definitely t-shirt weather now. And uh, oh mate, it's just looking absolutely great from this side. This is brilliant. Take a look at this. the fastest bit out of the whole track. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's, a, it's, it's quite terrifying. Uh, there is one point where, uh, like this morning where it just got so wet, uh, people are just sliding straight into the grass uh, on the right hand side. Uh, it's absolutely nuts, like you gotta break quite late as well. But yeah, you're flooring it down this hill and oh, fantastic. Gives you a proper rush. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make my way down further to the end of the track and get uh, another view for you.
have just one hour to go. Near the end of the race now. 55 minutes to be attacked. Ashley's on the track, he's gonna finish the race for us. He started it, now he's finishing it. He's been a good team lead, hasn't he? Ashley's been great for us. He, he's literally managed us. Uh, I've got him here. These two guys right here, the uh, good on comms as well. So, no, it's been a really good race. almost over we've only got just 10 minutes now just waiting for Ashley just to uh, keep up a steady pace we're looking at P19 so really really good results for us especially our first timers here as well uh, we gained up gained up quite a few places but yeah no it's been a brilliant race so far did it 24 hour it's finally finished
will be racing all the way so big round of applause to all of our 35s because uh, as I always look, I always look at all the stuff racing aspects of the journey it's not just about the guys going to third more you guys did an absolutely incredible job of fantastic race so welcome to all the end for come on <laughs> Right, so we go to the D-Max team, it's my premier racing team, six helmets racing and modern highest racing. Beautiful as they wander down and they get themselves and get their trophies from our wonderful staff, our wonderful staff here at Daytona. Ladies and gentlemen, have you got your cameras ready? Would you please give up my Premier Racing! Into second place is Six Helmet Racing! Give it up guys, come on! A magnificent team effort, crossing the checkered line first, crossing them as they did. It was a really, really unlucky situation that happened, but that's what rules are there for. It's, it's the same in all racing, but they've taken it really, really well. And I have to say, give a round of applause for the sportingness of that. They're disappointed. You can see it all down their faces, but that is the way to say, to say it. But they're still on the podium. They're still champions. Let's give it up. Nine, six, helmets. Let's give it up for your 2021 D-Max 24 hour racing, Modernized Racing! There's got to be a crate of biscuits in that. They kept going all the way, they really put the effort in this morning. Nobody deserves to lose this race, nobody, but that shows you never give up, anything can happen. So, put your hands together. For the one and only Modernized Racing! Just as a car flies past us on the map of They're going to stand up on the podium as they make their way to the top. It's been a grueling 24 hours, ladies and gentlemen. It's been uh, all the preparation, the 100 minutes of practice, the qualifying times. Everybody that's here, everybody can say it for this moment. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is your champions here. We've got on ourselves. The teams that have done it, the teams that have made it to the finals and the ground themselves, all three teams have done it. So one last time, ladies and gentlemen, 2021, Daytona, 24 hours! So that is it, that's the end of the 24 hour race. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure to work with these guys behind me. Uh, thank you very much, Ashley, for being our team lead. Uh, thank you very much for Nathan and Aaron to be on the comms at all times and making sure that the team is ready and keeping us awake. So, massive thank you. Um, also, congratulations to Alpha team as well. They've been amazing. They've been absolutely amazing. They've been quick. Um, it's a shame what's happened during the night, early in the night, about the the fuel but congratulations you guys you guys deserve it it was awesome it was awesome to see you guys leading the race as well i bet that's a huge achievement i think we all receive achievement today just by completing 24 hours of racing here so especially having barely any sleep only like two hours sleep maybe but it's it's been mad it's been a, a huge achievement so thank you guys i hope you enjoy this vlog and that and uh hopefully see you guys on the next one peace out